I'm from New York. I didn't have any carving stores around where I was, and you know how I how I got into the players, I guess, and, and got into it is I got the like you know most people I got the catalog in, you know, in the mail, and I, I checked it out, and it was like wow, look at all these guitars. Because I mean, I would go to Guitar Center, and you'd see like you know you'd see the Ibanez guitars, and, and a lot of them just had sort of like the flat. Uh, color finishes like a black and white guitar, a black guitar. And then you'd go in the carving catalog and you just, I mean, check this out. I mean, if you can see this in the light at all, I mean, look at some of the stuff they do. And you'd see guitars similar to, to this kind of thing. And it's just like, you know, I, I didn't, I've never seen that before. Like, I've never seen such like, you know, I wasn't, they don't have a lot of that in the, in the guitar centers or Sam Ashes. <laughs> recorded Pedal to the Metal on this guitar with my album Bust by Broken Heart. It's a 1990 DC 127 and if you can see the fingerboard it's it's pretty crazy. It's got a flamed uh, maple on it which I haven't seen many carvings like this. It's, it's got to be one of very very few. Super kind of just rare I guess and lucky because Carvin actually doesn't offer this but uh, it was just a really lucky piece of wood that they had in and I guess I don't know whether who the guy was uh, some guy in New Jersey off eBay but uh, I, I, uh, I'm glad he sold it to me, but uh, it, it, it's definitely an amazing guitar, and it's, it's the first guitar that really got me into the Carvins. And uh, when I played this guitar, I, I was sure that, uh, you know, that the Carvins were the guitars for me. And then I played it, and I fell in love with the guitars. I was like, wow, these guitars are amazing. The thing that's, that I find that's better about Carvin guitars is, is options, choices that they have. And the thing that's special about Carvins is, you know, like, if you would, you, to get a guitar like this made from somebody like Jackson or a bigger, big name brand that you could see available on a Sam Ash or a Guitar Center, you'd have to pay uh, twice as much. And, and, uh, and, and, these, and these guys, you know, they, they'll just give you anything you want, you can ask for. I mean, uh, the, the finishes, the colors, the fret size, the fingerboard, uh, the neck material. Do I want two stripes of walnut going down the back of the neck? What do I want the body wood made out of? You know, every, everything from the fingerboard to the neck to the body, it's, you know, they, they just give you all the options to choose what you want out of a guitar. And I just don't think the other guitar companies do that. And that, that to me, is the huge difference between Carvin and say like the other companies is, is just the choice to really you know do whatever you want with it. They just play great, you know. The action you can get, you know, a decent low action without, you know, uh, compromising with fret buzz. They get really low to the frets without buzzing, and uh, you know, they, they great playability. There was, I think, a, a stretch of two months where the thing didn't leave tune. Like I would, I would go on stage and check the tuning, but it would just be in tune. Like, and you can use the whammy. Like this thing has a uh, carbon guitars have these uh, pretzel locking tuners in the back. And I, I also have a locking nut on top and a, and a Floyd Rose, so I guess essentially a triple locking tremolo. <laughs> One, two, three. Um, but this thing, like, I'll, I'll show it to my friends. I'll be like, try to make the guitar go out of tune. I'll, I'll set it down on the ground and I'll let them put their foot on this, on this whammy thing. And you can just do what, whatever you want to do. Like, let it go completely like that. Still in tune, so uh, it's 
it, it works pretty good. <laughs> I also use uh, the X100B amp. And uh, they sent it over to me to try out, and I, I just fell in love with the thing. I, I knew I liked it from uh, Steve Vai. He, apparently, he used that. And uh, I, I can see why. It gets a really cool, like, old-school shred sound. I love the fact that it has, it has a five-band EQ right on it, and I, I like that. It really helps to be able to uh, sculpt the tone a little more for me. And I, I've been using it live in America, and it's, it's just it's awesome. I love also the foot switch is really cool because it has right on the – really important to me also is that I, I, didn't, I didn't think about it until I started, like, touring live, like uh, – you know, like like when I'm out there and I'm do a solo, like I like to always boost the volume. And rather than having like some volume pedal or whatever, it, it's cool to have a solo boost right on the foot switch. And the X100B does have that. It has a, a foot switch with a volume control on the amp to where you can um, control the level of boost that you want. And that was like a huge thing for me. I was like, wow. So I can like, you know, if for my solo, if I just want to freaking blow everybody out in my band and play twice as loud as them, I can do that. <laughs> Um, and, and it also has the effects and the reverb right next to each other. So, it, well, the effects and the uh, the effects switch and the boost right next to each other. So, in one swift motion, before I got to switch over from rhythm to a solo, I can stomp on these two uh, the two buttons at once and effectively boost the volume and and put my wet signal on. Say, if I want to run like a delay on the back of the amp, I can leave it on the back of the amp and leave it on, so I don't have to deal with the muckety muck of having the wires there. And so I can, have, I can have my delay and my effects loop on two short cables on top of my amp. And when I'm about to go for a solo, I can boost the volume and turn on my wet signal for the solo, say, um, and, and do that all in one motion by stepping on it, which is what I really liked about it. I mean, they're just, they're just really great people, and they're really helpful on the phone. You know, everybody's just been really awesome at Carvin, and I, you know, I'm really happy to be with them.